Hello, welcome back to Practice Insider's Edge. My name is Dr. Derek Barron, and this is my wife, Terry Barron. We want to thank you for joining us. Uh, today, we want to talk about something very unique in what we call part of our practice foundation and the business foundation of your practice. So what's unique about it is in our practice leverage method, we cover three components that deal a lot with the marketing, the digital marketing of the practice, but it's also the foundational systems in the practice as well. So we talk about the foundation from the practice foundation and the patient foundation. We talk about your practice drivers. That's what brings people in that's focused after you match your ideal patient that you want to go after. And we talk about our practice, practice accelerators. But today we want to talk about the foundational aspect and something that's very critical that you have. It's a, a, a building block of the practice, and that's the mission statement. So I'm going to have Terry kind of discuss a little bit about the mission statement, and then I'll join her back in again in a short bit. So if you don't mind, share what you Yeah, share what absolutely. You know. So let's just start with a simple question, right? Does your practice have a mission? And if it doesn't, you need one. You really do. And if you do have one, is it dusty? Is Does it need to be updated, tweaked? And if you do have one that might be kind of hidden and not used lately, is it something that is really just a bunch of words that you put together when you first opened? Is it something that you just put in your brochure or that you post on your website online? Is it something that you just post a sign in your staff room and that's the extent of how you use a mission practice? And don't feel bad if that's the case because we find that with a lot of our clients that yes, they have a mission, but it's just a bunch of words that haven't been visited in a long time. So what we wanted to talk about in relation to does your practice have a mission today was that that is something that we offer through Practice Insider's Edge when we do our coaching and consulting side of the business. We want to make sure that when we're working with our clients that we help teach them and guide them to really find what is their true north for their business. What's that true north that's really going to guide you on a regular basis to get to the goals, those big goals that you have for your practice. So when it comes to having your practice mission, once you've determined it and you know that that is truly your true north, it should be designed so that it helps guide you in the big picture of running your practice, but also in some of your day-to-day -day business decisions, which I think that's probably one of the things that's most overlooked by our business owners is that they know that they have a mission, but they're not utilizing the potential that that mission can guide them in. You know, it should be used, yes, for the big picture, but what are some of the daily things you can use? Your, you fall back and make sure you're, you're acknowledging your true north mission. The, some of those daily things can be, in these tough times, do we hire more staff? Is it time to furlough staff? Uh, you should be able to get some guidance from what you have created in your true north mission. Uh, the other topics that are day-to-day -day things, does the clinic really need this new piece of equipment? Or there's a fancy new technique that's out and should I invest in it for my staff to go explore that new technique? It may be exactly what your clinic needs and it falls in your mission. It may be diverting some of your attention or your money or your goals at the moment and you may find that guidance in your mission. So there's a lot that goes behind finding and creating and really knowing that you have found your true north when you create your mission statement for your practice. So in Practice Insider's Edge, we want to make sure that that's something that we bring to our clients because we know that that's something that is definitely overlooked when you're trying to grow your practice. So we wanted to talk about that in com conjunction with the foundational pieces that are so important uh, because having a mission statement is obviously crucial for knowing how to grow your practice. So when we have our consultations with our, our clients or prospective clients, there are frameworks that we take them through to find out, you know, what is their mission statement? What is it that they're doing from a practice level, from a business level? What is it they're doing from a patient level? So in a consultation I just had on Monday of this week, I had a conversation with a healthcare provider and I asked the question of this doctor and it, the question was, so tell me a little bit about your mission statement. And his statement was, I want to make money. 
So what do you think about that? <laughs> I knew that was coming. So that's very typical, right? Uh, practice owners oftentimes a clinician to start with. And we know that getting patients in, uh, we need that to grow our practice. But when it comes to what else is my practice based on? Well, it's about generating revenue. It's about making money to allow you to keep your doors open, to hire more staff, to continue to treat your patients, to eventually have freedoms that we would like to have some time freedom uh, to be a family member uh, to enjoy recreation so making money is very important to practice owners uh, and not necessarily in a selfish way but it is not part of a mission statement it's definitely something that we want to make sure that when we consult and coach with our clients that they recognize that making money is going to fall in a category of goals uh, for your business and how do you establish those goals, right? Short-term goals, long-term goals. Uh, but it's something that we typically guide them away from actually implanting as part of their mission or their true north. So that's a great question. And don't feel bad if you feel like that is part of your mission and why you have your practice open, because it is part of your practice. It just isn't necessarily part of your mission statement. And that's something that we're gonna help guide you with uh, to find that true north for you in, in our consulting and our coaching services. Well, thank you. Always a world of knowledge there. <laughs> so uh, if you are a healthcare professional watching it, whether you are a chiropractor or a physical therapist or you're a dentist or you're a podiatrist, a massage therapist, medical doctor, whatever it may be, if you are looking to take your practice to the next level or specifically you've got some questions on your mission statement and you want to have a conversation with us, drop us a message down below, a little comment, or you can connect with us on you know, any of the social channels. We'd love to be able to help you walk through that. It may be a small tweak. It may be just a conversation that makes that change, but you don't know if you don't ask. And it's a simple conversation. We are not selling you. We're here to consult with you just like you do with a patient. Our goal is to take you from where you are right now to where you want to be. And there are frameworks that we take along and along that path. And knowing what your mission statement is and applying it every single day is critical that we do that. So thank you again for um, sharing the mission statement <laughs> information. And again, if you have questions, please reach out to us. We'll be back with some more videos again coming soon with a mixture of some marketing and some consultative aspects. So if there are any questions that you have, drop them in the comments as well, and we'll shoot a video on that too. So thank you again for um, you know joining us. And if there's anything we can do at the Practice Insider's Edge to help you get your piece of the pie, let us know. Thank you.